Say hello again, coming to you live on YouTube on this glorious day. Here's an update on my truck. I told you I would do one. I um, wanted to show these rims. Uh, took forever to figure out which ones I wanted. But basically, this is a set of rims I bought for the truck. These are made by Fuel. They're a set of Fuel rims, and I think they're called Boost, the Fuel Boost rims. Um, they have a negative 12 offset. Uh, the wheels turn slightly. Might get a better view over here. There you go. Uh, these rims have a negative 12 offset and a 4.5 inch backspacing. Thought I would show you what that would look like. Uh, you, it's kind of a wide stance. Well, it's a little wider. But, some updates. I, I made this for the truck. Push bar, something. Worn uh, fog lamps. Uh, I actually welded, made this, and powder coated it black. Put some tow rings on it, two of them, and put this on it for like a two inch receiver. I guess if I wanted to put a basket or a winch or whatever. Change bug reflectors or bug shields. Uh, this is a different one than it was on the last video. And uh, actually, y'all didn't see this on the last video, or actually, you probably seen it, I didn't mention it. I actually had a bug screen on the front of this. Um, you couldn't really see the, the grill shiny because I had a bug screen on it. I took it off. It's winter now. Well, it's almost winter's over. But bugs ain't out that much during the winter, just in the summer. So I took it off during the winter, but I still got the little uh, tab stuck to it. That's when I want to reattach it during the summer. Just to keep bugs and crap out of your grill and uh, radiator and all that good stuff. Uh, give you a close-up on the rims. And of course they're dirty. I promise you one day I'll make a video of my truck clean, but it's always dirty. But these are the uh oh, who's that? Gordon. These are the uh, mill on black. It's all aluminum. I'm assuming uh, it's got you know it's the machined mill look. Kind of give you a perspective. It's my width of my hand. Like I said, negative twelve. Uh, let's see. I put a black toolbox on it. I guess as you can tell, I'm doing a white and black theme. Uh, give you a better look. There you go. You can kind of see what I mean. It's It sticks out pretty good. I've seen them, you know, like a negative 44 or something massive. Um, but I didn't want to go that far. Uh, the, the uh, let's see, the, the tires are stock. They're actually the stock tires that came on the truck um i was going to do a set of 33 1250s but these are 275 75 18 the rims also i'm sorry are 18s i don't know if i mentioned that but they're 18s they're actually an 18 by 9 18 inches high in diameter you know and 9 inches wide uh i'm probably going to go with a 33 1250 these are 11 inches wide, so they're probably going to stick out maybe just a hair more, not much. But it looks kind of cool, I guess, to have them stick out a little bit. But the only thing that I've noticed, you can't go down the driveway or anywhere without having crap slung everywhere on your truck. But, you know me, I always keep a dirty truck anyway, so what's it going to hurt, right? I think the black on white theme looks alright. I still need to get a Maybe some type of a tailpipe black. I don't know yet. I'd like to delete this truck and do all that, but I think in a previous video I said I wasn't going to touch it until my warranty's up. Unless they come out with a way to delete it that's you to keep your warranty, but I doubt that. But just wanted to show you these rims real quick. That's what a negative 15 or a negative 12 looks like on a 2014 rim. All right, Gordon would say bye, but he left. All right, catch y'all later.